This episode was brought to you by the DeBlaze team at Southwest Funding. Southwest's Funding, a better way to mortgage. So this is a Airbnb here in Norman, Oklahoma. This is owned by an amazing couple who have been running it um, since last year and looking for some great new owners that can either move in and have a fully turnkey property or continue using it as an Airbnb or you can be like them and use it part time and then uh, rent it out when you're not using it and make some income off your uh, your great home. Heck yeah. Well, an Airbnb is a private home that is rented out like a kind of like a, ho a hotel, short term stays. Sometimes they'll do long term stays, but it's basically inviting somebody into your personal home. It's more comfortable than staying in a local hotel. A lot more privacy, a lot more flexibility. So you're close to campus. Yep, we are a mile to the OU football stadium and we are less than a mile about a four minute drive to Campus Corner where all the great bars and restaurants are. And one of my favorite spots is this dining room with a view out to the amazing backyard. Can you imagine all your pre and post football game festivities out here? It's got a fire pit with the string lights. Ooh, and they don't make backyards like this anymore. Laundry, second little Eden area, adorable kitchen. I am honored to introduce you to one of my realtors at Calhoun Group Realty, Miguel. To start, my name is Miguel Baez. My rank in the fire department, I'm a major, and uh, I'm on the uh, under the fire marshal's office division, and I work for with the community in different programs. You know, try try to be on the preventing side of things. You know, Pro, uh, providing a lot of safety classes. Uh, today, we are at this uh, great event. It's amazing. They do it every year, and that's uh, where they recognize. Uh, 40 of the most influential Hispanic figures uh, in the state of Oklahoma. And uh, <laughs> uh, I had the pleasure to be uh, uh, nominated to that position and I, and I got it. So that's why we're here to celebrate the, the accomplishment of everyone over here. So I will introduce you to many people today and uh, I hope you like it. Coming up, we also have Miguel Baez. He is a major of the Oklahoma School Fighting Fire Department. We're serving this community, fighting fire safety lines, and making sure that all of our community is safe as we should be. I was going to say, I love this picture. Like, we, we need to get this guy on the cover of a magazine or something like that. One of the things I want to say, like, is thank you for everything that you, you know, have done for me and for the support. And you have always been there for all the food that you gave me. Because every time I'm hungry, I'm just call her and she's like, uh, well, always willing to. You're very welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm very proud of you. So I'm like, and I'm very proud of you. you. Well, you, because you're finishing high school. That's a huge accomplishment and everything. And pretty much top of your class. I remember when I, when I had you like right here as a baby, Chevy, Chevy Miss I lost all the baby fat. Yeah, but, uh, look at you, how beautiful she is now. Beautiful. She yeah. looks like mom. Yeah. 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 Great realtor. Like yeah. it, it runs in the family. Yeah. 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 No, but, like, of course we're going to be here for you. I feel like, you know. Thank you. It's amazing. This so. first day I was in school, so I was like, I want to be with oh, my yeah. Theo. I was like, she, I want to be with my Theo. She never, I, she never skips. Class and Emperor, yes, yeah. it just gets class. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know how to do it with my Yeah, no, like, thank you, no, thank you that you're here. Honestly, it's a lot. Yeah. Aww. I think the, the, food, us, the food is going to be yummy. Oh, yeah, I came for the food. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> and the mariachis. Yeah. Oh, don't tell them everything. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. I just want a picture really quick. Just give me a kiss. 
Victor, oh my god. Okay, we'll start with this little clump. So I kind of did the threshold this year at five million, just because I felt like if we go back down to one million, like I gotta get people to get aggressive, right? You know, so the threshold now to get it is at least selling five million. So the first five million dollar producer is Clarissa. Yay! I never know where to look. And then you get to be a part of the sparkle team. So if you want a Stanley or a colored sparkle, welcome to my life. Okay, our next $5 million producer is Aaron. So somebody needs to take the picture. <laughs> next $5 million producer is Randa. And get your cup. You can be a part of, who got the black Stanley? Okay, I love it. Um, okay, and then our <laughs> current top selling agent at Calhoun Group Realty is Kylie at seven million. <laughs> what is it? Nine million? Uh, I know. I'm sorry. Will you reprint? Will you? Will you? I'm sorry. Okay, nine. Sorry. No, I'm gonna give you a different one. Dang it. These are for my fiercely focused agents, and these agents literally keep their nose down and grind, and I absolutely appreciate it. And it goes to Eden and Kai, because you guys just keep your nose down, and I love it. So here's these. Thank you. This award is for the longevity legend of one of my longest running agents, and it's so hard because agents always think the grass is greener on the other side. It's green where you water it. Um, and this goes to Aaron. This next person is the Resilience rock star. They don't give me lip about any lead, any lead price where they have to drive. I mean, you say it's four hours, like, I don't care, that's 300 bucks. 300 bucks more than I made yesterday. This goes to Miss Kylie. <laughs> this last award is the Persistent Pursuer, where this agent just, I've noticed they make uh, such an initiative to find the answer, keep asking questions. Like, I love that. That's my dad. I think I've told the story before. When I grew up, anytime I had a question, I'd ask my dad, and he's like, Well, did you look it up? Did you read it? Did you try to find the answer before you asked me? And I'm like, Okay, so if you guys notice, that's how I am with you. I'm like, Did you read it? Did you look it up? This one goes to Randa, because she is always digging for those answers and always. Yes, would you like another cup? Come here. Before anybody leaves, I want to do your pictures with this. <clears throat> oh, oh yeah, let's do a group picture. Come on! Do you want a cup? Did you get a cup? Huh? Yeah, I, got, I have the other one. Oh, okay. I'm going to sit in the back. You're tall. Are we going to be able to get everybody? Excuse me. I think, I think we're going to do phone. You guys, take cookies, take the little houses, and eat any food, and no, everybody has to have a picture before we go. We're doing a jet gift. Or I'm posting all of this. I turned it. I turned all the way around. I will totally post them. So, okay, let's do a board picture. Okay. Okay. I get my own flowers. Oh, these two. Are you sure? My my mom loved flowers. And I always gave her crap. So I have all these flowers that people keep giving me.
I'm here at the grand opening of the Blonde Pearl with Linnea and Bobby. They are some previous clients of mine and I'm so excited because she just opened this spot up in Norman, my stopping grounds. And I just want to know, tell me, first of all, when, how long have you been doing here? I've been here for almost 12 years. Mm -hmm. And I grew up in Norman, so I was working in Yukon for a while, which I did love my old salon, but it was kind of time to move on. And we we saw this spot open up in Norman, and I thought it was perfect. It is perfect. Yeah. When I saw that it was yours, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to her. Because I've always wanted to go to you. Yay. It's just like, I'm You're like, far away. I'm yeah. always driving yeah. across the world. So I was like, okay, so like the normal like hair and nail. And I was like, I need four minutes away from my house. So this is literally four minutes from my house. And I'm like, I'm gonna, you're not gonna be able to get rid of me. <laughs> um, okay, so tell me about, what what do you do here? About me? Are you just like the meet and greet front desk? Sometimes. I'm Cleaner? Yeah, <laughs> cleaner, secretary. Yeah, I, I do all the bad things. I handle all the bad things. Right? So, uh, so that she can just focus on hair and attention to all the other stylists. And I help with the other aspects. I think it's great. Yeah, I love it. Well, you guys make a really great team. Um, I, what you've done is, it's beautiful, it's amazing. You've done my hair a couple of times and I've been so happy with it. Tell me about some of the services that you do provide and what your typical, I guess, clientele would be. We do a variety of color. We don't just do blondes, but I, like I said, I've been doing for about 12 years, and that's my favorite thing to do, so that's kind of what I expect. It's blonde, so that's why I wanted it to be in our name. It's what I love the most, but we do all colors. And you're blonde. Yes, so I'm blonde. you got to keep it. Now you yes. can never change. I know. Right? <laughs> we do everything, though. We do lashes. We do brows. We do extensions. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. We do, we do, we do as much as Like, when you say lashes, like lash extensions? Yes, lash extensions. Do you dye eyelashes? Uh huh. She does all the tinting and the waxing and everything. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yep. And the lamination. Heck yeah. I know. And then we do permanent pool too. Yes. I love yeah. That. Tell me about the inspiration uh, for the salon. Um, we, uh, I was in the oil field for a while and I was gone a lot. And then it was kind of hard to pick between, you know, having to go to work and then not really spend any time together. So I didn't see that in the hotel. Did see her 55 days straight walks. So I was away in a rig. And so this is kind of our answer to the question is like, how do we make money and spend money? Work together, right? Doing yeah. something yep. that I love. I get it. That solved that problem. I love it. Awesome. Well, you guys are doing a kick ass job. Yay. Yay. I love it. I wonder if you bring your girls have anything to say. I have hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.